So Matthew is getting ready to go ahead and solo this morning. I am. Exciting yes. stuff. And I see Sandy's taking a ride again. Yep. So we've got a full tank of fuel, 100 pound sandbag. So no surprises uh, performance wise on uh, the uh, solo. You know, the uh, performance is amazing, but it's amazing different. So we don't want different on a solo. So hopefully this will be uh, just like I'm there. I can talk to him. Um, we've got the weight and I haven't touched the controls in several hours, so. Sweet. And uh, you're gonna give us uh, three touch and goes with a full stop on the third, okay. or I'll be talking to you. I may tell you to come down early. I may tell you to do some more. Okay. And uh, now no pressure, but the last like 10 landings he's made, have been greasers. I can't tell when any of the three tires touch. Perfect. So Perfect. pressure's on Perfect. now. <laughs> you know, we've had some bouncy solos in the past. We yeah. need to show the world that we can get a student to grease in all three all of the landings. Okay, the nose. Oh my included. gosh. No all right, the bar's been That's set. way too much pressure. I accept the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Good right. man. Have fun yes. with it. Uh, yes, sir. So, this is Matthew's last flight with me as the instructor in the back seat. And uh, this is his silent solo. We're going to go ahead and solo him after this one. He's bringing it around in a beautiful job of getting lined up uh, directly with the runway. And now here he's going to do the slowdown. The slowdown helps us to uh, do the next step, which is right here. And he sets the dive angle. And now we are accelerating into the uh, round out. And uh, we're hitting a very, very high airspeed, so we can actually get a nice long flare out of uh, the 17 meter wing. If you notice he's off to the left side, he's going to tilt the cage, and we're going to just drift right back over to the center line. Full flare, soft on the nose, and uh, this is a soft field style technique. This is a perfect example of what we teach here. Matthew's flying the uh, 17 meter wing, which means he's got a 1220 gross. And uh, so you can take up some big passengers in that bad boy. Um, really nice to fly wing. Uh, this is our version three on the uh, 17 meter. So we've got some uh, new airfoil, new uh, dihedral, uh, some different tweaks to it. Flies really, really well. We've been having a lot of fun with this wing. It's a nice, gentle giant. Trim speed is going to be 49 miles an hour this morning. So uh, pretty close. He did most of his training on our 15 meter wing and then uh, went to the 17. 17 is a lot easier to fly than the 15 meter wing. And then uh, probably equally as easy as our new version five Rival X, the uh, double surface wing. So uh, lands really nice and not to take any credit away from Matthew. We'll see how he uh, does. Ho hopefully it'll make me proud here. Clear prop. traffic, no recall, departing runway five. Staying in the pattern, Zephyr Hill. Matthew is really good on the radio. He's never used a radio before and uh, just really clear and solid. So Matthew is still full fuel and 100 pounds of sandbag in the back seat and uh, this is going to be like having a half a tank with a passenger which is what he's used to. This nice little RV6 or 7 came in uh, while we were filming, so we thought we'd get his uh, landing. Those are tough to do bounce free landings with, those tail draggers. Thank you, Jeff. That guy can't get enough. And you guessed it, Jeff with his revolt out flying again. So he'll be joining us while we're doing this solo. I think he may have a little uh, show off move for us uh, coming up next. It's a pretty great landing. You see he's flaring a little high with a little balloon right there and a little bit of a plop. He can do much, much better, but I don't know if it's going to happen on this solo. It is a beautiful day here at Zephyr Hills, October 25th, 2024, and this is Matthew soloing. Just gorgeous out here today. 
a lot of people coming out to fly. And here comes Jeff. You can really see he's got about 500 hours now uh, flying his trike. It wasn't that long ago that he was soloing, just a few years ago. Look at how smooth he comes off uh, when he rotates. Really locks in that climb angle. Look at that short takeoff. And here comes Matthew on October 25th, 2024. It is a beautiful morning here in Zephyr Hills. Just a very light breeze. But it's beautiful weather after these hurricanes we've had through. Another super high energy approach. These are really safe and they work really well when the weather is less than cooperative. This is Matthew's solo flight. One more, Matthew. One more. And here comes Jeff. You can see he has a lot more speed. This is a Rival X version 5 that we were talking about earlier. So things are happening a little quicker, but it's the same technique that he's using. And uh, he's holding a nice flare and still got a little bounce. Uh, both of these guys can grease these things in like nothing, but I think Jeff's got something a little special for us here. He's gonna do one more landing to show he can get the perfect greaser. Here it is. And that was it. And now he's gonna blast off out of here and he's going for a nice long flight. Enjoy the flight, Jeff. And back to Matthew, he's really looking for that greaser for this last landing. If you've flown trikes, you know getting the mains down smoothly is easy. Nose wheel, little trick here. Very right, nice. Woohoo! Nice job. Well, the greasers kind of eluded me on those last couple. <laughs> but is that, ma is that maddening knowing you can yes. grease in all three wheels, oh. like consistent, oh, yeah. and then blowing it four times in a row? Oh, and they were great landings. They were. But they were. Oh. You couldn't feel the last few I did. You that, couldn't those even I feel his tires touching oh. all yesterday, this morning again. This guy can grease landings when nobody's looking, when there's no video camera. Well, I'll tell you, you know, when I first went up, there was a little bit of traffic coming out. I'm like, all right, listen for the traffic, do that. And then I had somebody sitting there, so I went a little long, and I think that, you know, so I came in a little long, but... Every, every one of these solos that you watch on the videos, mm -hmm. their landings typically are about 60 to 70 percent of what their actual landings yeah. normally are. It's just the nerves yeah. and uh, me not being so comforting with my excellent energy <laughs> in the back seat. <laughs> there. I'm that so I can sleep at night now. Yeah. <laughs> But, but uh, I know no, they're, they're there. I know they're there. I know I can do them. Uh, that last landing was really beautiful. Oh, Don't let them tell you otherwise. <laughs> it was good, but yeah. it was really, really good. Those are very, very good landings. Yeah. But yeah, the greasers. I was, uh, I was wanting to see three greasers yeah. this morning. As a matter of fact, I was coming downwind here, and I'm saying to my, I'm saying out loud. If you can only hear me, I'm like, all right, Larry, we got a greaser coming up right here. Matt, you know how to do this. You can bring it right in there and <laughs> uh, close, but no cigar on that. But. I'll get them. Yeah, keep absolutely. At it. Keep working at it. Absolutely. Then a dream up there. It is just amazing. Yeah. So how many hours of training did you receive? I believe I'm around 14. Okay. Yeah, just coming up on 14 maybe. Right, I don't right. think we're into the 14s yet. Yeah, maybe 13, 13 something like yeah. that. And that's about average for a guy that flies PPG. Yeah. And is your age yep. group category. Young. Very young. Yeah, we call there this you young. Go. This is 50s young. This 50s is young yes. in the trike world. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes. that, that really and truly is. Um, you get these guys, uh, their age starts with a four or a three, I and mean, they don't even see 10 hours some, sometimes. I can imagine. But uh, anyway, um, so how does this compare to flying uh, PPG? Well, I think they're totally different. You know, this is much faster. Uh, with a 17 meter slow wing, it's yes, much it's faster. it's still much faster. You know, this is, 
I'm cruising at about 48, 49. There I'm cruising, you know, sometimes 5, 10, 15. Oh, ground speed, uh, sure. Ground speed, right. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I really wanted to do this first uh, um, so I could take something out. But sure. also, you can fly in, uh, you know, stronger winds, a little bit stronger winds. A little, you know, the weather can be a little bit unpredictable. So this was really uh, what I've been dreaming about. But the open concept is what's fantastic. I don't want to be in a cockpit or anything like that where it's kind of sterile or you don't feel it here. You feel the wind. You can you can feel things, and that's what I like about PPG too. So to me, this is just fantastic. This this was your this was your trike. Yeah. That, yeah. that I got, which I'm really excited about, knowing that's uh, it's been in good hands and has seen a lot. It's of, a good a trike. Yeah. I've it's never treated had us to well. Have a hard landing with it. Yep. <laughs> and I will tell you this: this is probably the most famous one because it's in a lot of your videos. That's like true. Your, that's my trike right there. Absolutely. That's true. I'm yeah. Really and of course, the only reason I got rid of this bird is because uh, uh, we've got the new 2025 model coming out. Whoops. Yep. Don't uh, edit that out. Beautiful. It's a beautiful. I've, I've seen it. It's, it's beautiful. Absolutely. So uh, making some changes. Yes. Well, it, well evolving. Yeah. Right? Always evolving. evolving. Right. I can't say enough about the training. Thank um, you. I think Larry is, is the perfect personality temperament for a guy like me. And uh, obviously knows his stuff just watch some of the videos you'll see it but the training was absolutely phenomenal the facility's fantastic this place is great um, the weather's usually very good and uh, <laughs> I, I, I couldn't have felt more comfortable than doing my training here getting this here I know the maintenance is here everything is here so uh, I would just tell anybody who really has any interest in this at all at least come down and do a demo flight at least check it out I know I first came out I called you I did a demo flight I think the next day I came back and said I'm buying it. I, it was a two-day thing for me. Uh, I know some people, you know, they come back, they, they plan it for years. I did it in two days. I just fell in love with it the second we went up. And, I remember uh, that. I remember him telling me that he sold our trike. I was like, what? Already? Some some crazy guy from uh, Tampa came up and uh, bought it right out from under me. So, but uh, that yeah, sold so, me, so do it. I'm so, just, yeah, I'm, you went for a demo, and then two days later, you had purchased the trike. Yep. We started your training. Exactly. And uh, now some people take a lot longer mm -hmm. uh, to get their revolt. So let's just turn the camera here. We've got a guest. We've got a guest hey. here, Tom Longfellow. There's Tom. And anybody <laughs> on social media has seen this name, I think, uh, oh, yeah. throughout yeah. the years on yeah. the old uh, trike pilot uh, when it was a forum and right. uh, you were there. Yep. And you go all the way back to Tampa Bay Aerosport days. That's right. I knew Larry when he was flying uh, two toothpicks and a propeller. And wow. had a full set of hair. It was yeah, yeah, me too. That's true too. <laughs> um, yeah, I knew him way back. He was a hell of a pilot then. I remember taking some training. I trained in a little Kloss, and I was skinnier then, but I was still heavy. And we had a little three-cylinder Kloss, and I, that thing, I should send it flowers as many times as it went around the battery. And so you got out of the triking. Yep, yep, got out of it for a while, you know, job and that kind of stuff. And you've been talking to me now about a, a new revolt new for revolt. a couple of years yeah. now, huh? Yeah, and I, I don't do anything fast. So I'm going to retire here pretty soon. So I've got the go-ahead from the wife, and uh, just trying to get it together. Came to see stuff like this, hang out with a hanger, and you know, hanger talk and that kind of things. And I got to look at uh, something special in there that he didn't mention earlier. It's amazing looking, and I'm I'm going to be right on that. So back over to this guy because this is amazing. Got to beat him off out of his wallet. Congratulations, dude! Yes. Oh, thank you very yeah, much. Man. Fantastic, loved it. Yeah. Really excited. Yep. That was awesome. Oh, thank you very much. Really, really nice. It. And don't listen to him. Those landings were beautiful. Uh, you did a great job. I do know they could have been better, but you know. They weren't perfect, but they, they were really, really good. You at should the be level proud. Matthew was at, right. we're all disappointed. Yes. <laughs> now, that was... more than anyone. Me more... <laughs> I know I can do it. Yeah, here comes Martin. <laughs> this is our crazy friend. couple of times going out for a fly. Nice job, Matthew. Thank you very much. Thanks for everything. Thank you. We'll take it back there and then we'll get you situated in the, the uh, new hangar. You got it. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you'd like to learn more about trikes or already fly trikes, check out trikeaction.com where the action is.